Hey guys, it's Coach Kim, the Credit Sheik. I'm back with another amazing video. Today, we're gonna be talking about student loans and how to get student loans removed from your credit report. There's a lot of controversy about student loans, student loan debt, how to get that removed from your credit report. Today, I'm gonna to give you guys some strategies, some tips, some hacks on how to get that stuff removed off your credit report, and also maybe some reasons why you might not want the account actually removed, right? Stay tuned, let's go. credit chic and what I want to come to you guys today and talk about is how to remove student loans from your credit report now the first thing I want to say and preference this with is that just because you get the student loan the student loan removed from your credit report does not mean that you have the debt discharged that, that you do not owe the debt anymore you're still going to have to pay the debt off and if you don't pay the debt on time and you get a late payment it's gonna report back on your credit report as derogatory all right so the first thing you want to do is you want to pull your credit report. So if you know you have student loans, you know that they're derogatory, and this goes for kind of any account, right? I just wanted to talk about student loans today in particular because a lot of people have been asking about them. So you want to get a tri-merged account. You can get one from smartcredit.com. I'm actually in the process of partnering with them where I'll be able to provide this service for you guys for free, right? This is what you call factual disputing first. Um, there are other criteria that you can use to have these type of accounts removed but what you want to do is you want to get the tri-merged account because it's going to list Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, the creditor or the lender or the loan provider, whoever's providing these uh, credit bureaus uh, with the information, is going to have it listed in a tri-merged fashion where you'll be able to view each account, each line item on the account line by line. This way you can check for any inconsistencies or any inaccuracies in the reporting. Why? Because if this creditor is reporting this information to all three of these bureaus, why would they have different information? They're not supposed to. That's your right. And that's what we use to dispute and get these accounts removed or we'll have the information updated because sometimes having a student loan account removed from your credit report can actually drop your score because of age and payment history, right? Student loan accounts um, are what's called installment credit, right? Installment credit or installment loans, what they do is they add a lot of age and a lot of payment history to your credit report. So when you remove the account, you lose the age and you lose the credit, the payment history, and it drops your score. That's why sometimes it's best to just have these type of accounts updated. Update the information. The derogatory information is removed. And everything is in the black. And what it does is it changes the algorithm and, and increases your credit score. So when you pull your credit report, what you're looking for is you're looking for that account name, right? We got a federal loan service provider. So this is, we know it's a federal student loan because there's two types of student loans. You got private and you got federal, right? We got the account number. We have the credit bureaus listed. We got Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, right? Account name, federal loan service, everything's uh, uh, uniform. Account number, everything's uniform. One, two, three, four, five, six, X, X, X. Now, when we get the payment status, we see that Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion are reporting three different things. So we want to highlight these things, which I've done, right? And we're going to add those to the dispute letter, which we'll get into down here in a, um, in a, in a second, right? So we notice that, okay, we got the payment history that's reporting inaccurately. We know we're going to add that. We look at the balance. Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion are all reporting different balances. That's another inaccurate item. We're going to put that in the dispute letter. When we put together the dispute letter, this is how you're going to put it together. There's different ways. There are different formats. Um, you can find these templates online. I have templates myself. You can purchase them um, on my website. I will attach uh, the link below. Um, but you're going to put your first and last name, your address, date of birth, social security number, the credit bureau agency, um, their address, and, and the reason. <clears throat> and what you're going to start it off by just saying is simply to whom it may concern after reviewing my credit report, you know, because I'm trying to apply for a loan or whatever it might be. Um, I noticed a few inconsistencies, the payment status and balance for the account, name the account and the account number are reporting inaccurately. 
Please update this information according to the Fair Credit Reporting Act, blah, 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 blah. Please update this information on this account or please delete this account immediately. You're gonna, you want to tell them what to do. Sometimes even if you tell them to delete the account, the credit bureaus might not delete the account. They'll just update it because this might be a current um, account. The other thing about student loans, if the student loan is deferred or is in forbearance, you should not be having any negative information reporting month to month. So if you have a student loan that's in default, you have a student loan that's in forbearance and you're collecting and it's reporting late payments with TransUnion or Equifax and Experian are reporting uh, late payments, you can have that disputed, have that account removed or that information um, updated, right? Forbearance and the first student loan should not be reporting negative information. Guys, I hope you understand this scenario. This works for any type of account. It does not matter what the account is. This could be a child support, um, repossession, foreclosure, uh, student loan. It doesn't matter. If it's charged off, collections, late, anything that's derogatorily being reported, you can dispute the account, have the information updated or removed. Um, just a few different things that I wanted to touch on before I end the video, because it's very short. It's not a lot that goes into disputing your credit report. Everybody's situation is different. So everybody not, might not have the same type of inaccurate information. Everybody's not going to have the same type of inaccurate information going on. You may have a duplicate account. You may have an account that doesn't belong to you. Say you're a twin or you and say, um, uh, you have gener a generation a generational name that's the same. So you might be a junior or a senior. You might have your son or your father stuff reporting on your account. You can have it removed for those reasons as well. But like I said, student loans are installment loans, right? Installment loans actually help build your overall credit score. They're like car loans, mortgages, business loans, personal loans, ETC. They help build your credit score. You need a healthy mix of installment and revolving credit, right? Um, with these type of accounts, what we're looking for, like I said, is negative information. This is what we call factual disputing, right? Um, if the account is not, if it's like it's not your account, right? You know it's not your account. Um, if the account is past the statute of limitations, so if it's older than seven or 10 years, you can have it removed based on those type of criteria as well. There are two, like I said, two types of uh, student loans out there. We have federal student loans and we have private student loans, right? With federal student loans, when it comes to like defaulting, right? A few things that you should know. After nine consecutive payments, that will remove the default status with federal student loans, right? So all you have to do is, you know, if you default on it, you miss the payment, whatever, um, all you have to do is make nine consecutive payments and that will be forgiven. You can have that um, disputed or, or uh, reported to the credit bureaus to have them um, update the information on your credit file. Um, they also offer what's called income-driven repayment plans. So if you are behind on your student loans, you can reach out to them and based on you know, whatever type of income you have right now, if you're going through some sort of financial hardship, you can have that worked out. Um, they also offer what's called public service loan forgiveness programs, but you have to basically volunteer for 10 years at like a government agency or some sort of nonprofit that they choose and you have to be making your payments on time and they'll forgive the loan, right? Even if you have a balance. Um, another thing with private student loans, right? The only thing with the, they they differ drastically from federal student loans, especially when it comes to removing default uh, status and late payment statuses from it, from you know the credit file. So if this wasn't a federal student loan, but it was a private student loan, it'd be a little bit harder to uh, kind of dispute some of these things, right? Um, I mean, this type of stuff, you know, they would have to update the information, right? Because it's just reporting inaccurate. Nobody is going to report different information from the same provider you know, to any of the uh, credit bureaus. So they have to um, update that information. Um, <clears throat> they may, with private student loans, they may offer forbearance for economic hardship. So regardless if you have private or federal student loans, right now is the time to really be disputing these things. Um, I know that President Trump and the, their administration and the government and things like that are, they're going to be adding federal student loan or student loan forgiveness to the next stimulus package that comes out. I'm going to do a video on that too. I touch on how to get access to a lot of that stuff as well. Um, so if you are going through some sort of hardship due to the pandemic, um, financial hardship, you need to reach out to, um, you know, your loan providers and get this stuff removed, right? And forgiven. <clears throat> um, 
But with private student loans, defaults, and serious late payments are very hard to remove. Um, the only other, like I said, the only other way that you're gonna get these type of accounts removed um, is if the loan is not yours and you can prove that. Um, if, if the late payments are reporting in errors, like if you're in deferment status or um, forbearance, you should not have late payments reporting on your student loans. Um, that's a reason to have it removed. Um, and then the default status is an error. So if they're showing that you defaulted but you did, um, you can have it removed based on that as well. And always support your dispute with documentation. Right. If they're saying that you didn't make a payment on X day, but you did make the payment to the you know your loan provider, reach out, get the uh, proof that you made the payment, like the receipt or whatever. Attach that to the dispute letter, send that to the credit bureau, showing them that the dates don't match that you did make the payment. They have to update that within 30 days. If they don't, you can file a consumer uh, finance protection complaint with a CFPB complaint um, with the credit bureau and sue them actually and so um the other last thing that you want to make sure that you do is you want to make sure that you dispute in writing a lot of people have problems with um the credit bureaus and removing a lot of this stuff and this information when they call because you know you get this you, you just might not get the right type of employer or, or um uh agent or representative and they just might not want to work with you so it's best to always do things in writing that way you create a paper trail in case you have to go to court um so, guys, I hope that that helped you. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, concerns, please drop your com um, comments in the comment section. Please reach out to me. Um, I left the link. I'm going to leave the link in the uh, uh, description below where you can purchase your do-it-yourself credit repair um, dispute letters from our website. Um, if you have any issues or you um, would like help with um, removing student loans or your credit report period, please reach out to me. Um, Coach Keem, the credit sheet. Thank you for watching. I hope this information helped you guys. Take care. Peace and blessings.